So you've hit a new low, maybe you're depressed, maybe you just feel like you've lost purpose in life, or you've come to the right place. This video is going to help you out. Self-improvement changed my life. It's the reason why I no longer drag myself out of bed every morning. But how does one start on a journey of self-improvement? The journey of 10,000 steps begins with one. Hi. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Matty and I'm a male model, physiotherapist and fitness enthusiast. And I wanna document my self-improvement journey. I wanna share things that have helped me and hopefully they will help you too. In this video, I will be sharing with you how you can start your self-improvement journey. I will be giving you five steps on how you can do so. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first step of self-improvement is to learn new skills. The best mindset that you can have in life is the apprentice mindset. You have been well trained, my young apprentice. There is always more to learn. There's always room to grow. It's really important to remember that there are always going to be things that you don't know. And it's what you don't know that you don't know that's going to be a downfall if you let it. This just lets you keep growing as a person, to keep acquiring new skills, to keep learning new information. Just to clarify, strength training is a skill. So I'm going to use that as the example in this particular instance. A few years ago when I was working in the NHS as a specialist MSK physio, we had an in-service training on the importance of strength training. However, the takeaway message from that in-service training was that strength training is the foundational pillar of virtually everything in life. Of course, this means that it's an integral part of self-improvement as well. There are numerous health benefits to strength training. Increased muscle mass, increased bone density, improved metabolism, improved athleticism, improved mood, and improved testosterone slash hormonal profile. Additionally, it will also make you look better in and out of clothes. It will help you build that aesthetic physique. But the main thing about resistance training is that it's hard. It's uncomfortable, it's unpleasant. So if you can consistently train despite this discomfort, then you build mental fortitude. Now, mental fortitude will help you persevere in your journey to achieve your goals, even when life gets tough. Now, there are gonna be days when you just don't want to train, but you still do anyway. And it's this compounding effect of training, even on these bad days or these days when you don't feel like training, that is gonna to lead to amazing progress and amazing results over time. Now, if you guys are interested, I've made plenty of videos on my channel talking about how you can build an aesthetic physique. And some of these videos include like a training program as well. So I'll leave a link in the description below. In my opinion, this should be the first step of your self-improvement journey. Step number two is to have a mission, goals to work towards. I want you to think about the times in your life when you've been in a rut, when you've been a bit depressed. That might be right now, for instance. When I think back to the times when I've been in a bit of a rut, when I've been a bit low, when I hadn't set any meaningful goals, when I hadn't put together a life mission, when I had nothing in the works. So a few years ago, I was working in the NHS as a physiotherapist, five days a week, eight to four, which is basically the same thing as a nine to five. You just have to wake up a little bit earlier. So it was an outpatient role. So you basically see people coming from outside the hospital. They come in, you're essentially back to back the whole day. You see 11 to 13 patients a day. So it was quite repetitive. It was quite draining. Of course, it takes a lot from you. It can be quite an emotional job. In a sense, it's it's great because you get to help people. But in another sense, it just takes so much from you and, does, and doesn't give much back. The ceiling to this professional role is quite capped. So where I was was a band six. The one below where I just come from was a band five. So when you achieve band six, the next step is a band seven, which is a team lead physio. However, there were very few positions because it's a team lead. And additionally, there's a very slow turnover. So people don't leave when they get into the band seven role because it's quite comfortable. The chances of any vacancies coming up was quite low. I was basically feeling like I would have to stagnate and stay in this position, not only one to two years, but it was looking like it would be three to five years plus basically in the same position. Now, the kind of person that I am, I have to keep moving. I have to keep aiming for the next thing. It dawned on me that I would probably be stuck in this position for the next three to five years plus, working this eight to four, being underpaid, chronically sleep deprived. And this just led me to burnout. I was quite depressed and I needed a change. So I won't go into too much detail about how I ended up changing my life. That's probably for another video. But eventually I left this job. Fast forward to today, I'm working part-time in a private physio practice and I'm modeling part-time as well, as well as doing this YouTube, trying to be an influencer kind of thing. And even though my financial position is not stable or steady, 
I know that I only have to deal with this for a little while before things take off for me. Success is literally around the corner. I just need to peel through this thin veil that's separating me from my dream life. And it's the same with you guys. If you have a dream, it's just through a thin veil, you just have to persist. The craziest thing is that I feel more fulfilled doing this modeling part-time and doing YouTube part-time than I ever did doing physio. I actually don't drag myself out of bed now every morning like I used to when I was working in the NHS. Self-improvement is just so important for young men because we aren't born with any value. We aren't just accepted for being ourselves and we're not just valued for our looks like many young women are. We come into this world with nothing and we have to hustle, claw and grind to get to the top. Men are not born, we become. And therefore, this is what makes our mission important. So I ask you, what do you want to achieve with your life in the short term, in the midterm? and in the long term and even when you achieve your goals you can't stop there it's on to the next one you have to achieve more you have to run a little bit further stay uncomfortable because comfort is the death of growth stop focusing on happiness because the more that you focus on it the more it will elude you instead focus on achieving your goals focus on being successful in your mission happiness fulfillment and contentment will follow Step number three is to practice self-care. We've already talked about how important it is to exercise, to train, but self-care is multifaceted. So you've heard of the phrase, never judge a book by its cover, but I can tell you right now that people do, at least initially. The society we live in is extremely superficial. You form your initial impression of someone within the first few seconds of meeting them. So why wouldn't you want to look your best? Why wouldn't you want to show them the best version of yourself? Having clear skin is a strong indicator of health and attractiveness and as a side effect it will improve your confidence and self-esteem. From my own personal experience the time when I had the lowest confidence and the lowest self-esteem is when my acne flared up a few years ago. I didn't want to leave the house, I grew my hair really long to cover my face and I hated people touching my face. Since my skin has cleared up my confidence has skyrocketed. I can look, feel and be a better version of myself. So I would highly recommend getting yourself a skincare routine if you haven't already. And if you guys are interested in a skincare routine that I made plenty of videos on my channel going into detail about them, so I'll leave a link in the description below as well. But the skincare routine alone was not enough to clear my skin. Diet was a big factor as well. Since eating right will make you healthier, it will also reflect on your skin. Now I did some self-experimentation, I did the elimination diet and found that dairy was the thing that caused me to break out. For you that might be different, you have to find that out for yourself. Cut down on processed junk, seed oils and sugary foods. More importantly, you will perform better, feel less tired and get sick less often. Your body is a machine. Put good fuel in and it will run more efficiently. Now we've just talked about how physical and physiological health is important. But another pillar of self-care is mental and emotional well-being. You need to take time for yourself. Sometimes we feel that we always have to be working, hustling, grinding all the time. But actually there are many times where we need rest and recuperation. Chilling out this evening will mean that your batteries are recharged to go harder tomorrow. Things that help me to relax and to look after my mental health. Praying, doing some yoga, going for walks, listening to music and audiobooks on those walks. Playing guitar, playing piano, and spending time with my girlfriend. Step number four is to surround yourself with positive people. We are the sum of the five people we spend the most time with. If you ask people whether they think this is true, 99% of individuals will agree that it is. And yet, these 99% of people will not make an effort to actually surround themselves with people that they want to be like. In my own life, I've noticed that over the years, friends come and go. You lose friends either from falling out having arguments, for instance, or just losing touch over time. Your value changes, your mission changes. And if you don't share the same mission with someone, it's really hard to, to be their friend. But positive is that you do meet new people and make new friends, those with a similar mission to you. I'm hardly in touch with anyone from my secondary school and I'm not in touch with a single person from my primary school. I hardly have any friends from 10 years ago and that's okay. I'm on a mission to continually evolve and better myself. Those friends that I lose are the ones that can't keep up. I choose not to hang out with people who will drag or slow me down. You need to find new people to hang out with, people who aren't going to hold you back, people that share your vision for entrepreneurship, creativity, and will celebrate in your victories with you. Step number five is to embrace change. Nothing in life remains the same. One of life's only constants is change. But so many people fear change when it can be a good thing. For instance, what if you worked out consistently five times a week for 
five years and your body didn't change. Or if you ate the same thing for every meal, every single day. Or if you had to work in the same place doing the same job for the rest of your life. Isn't the prospect of staying where you are and remaining the same absolutely terrifying? And I will say that if the fear of remaining the same isn't terrifying to you, then you are not even on the first rung of self-improvement. For you to take action and seek out self-improvement like you have by watching this video, that tells me that the discomfort or the dissatisfaction of remaining where you are in your life right now massively outweighs the fear that you have of change. Congratulations to you. We only make change when we have no other choice, when we have discomfort and pain in our lives. But also remember that it is progress on this journey and not perfection. We are humans, we are not gods. The whole point of self-improvement is to accept that you're human, that you're flawed, but that you can improve inch by inch, meter by meter, mile by mile. Now I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.